Mastering subject verb agreement. No more errors. Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving deep into an important part of English grammar, subject verb agreement. This topic is crucial for writing grammatically correct sentences. Let's make sure we are not making any common mistakes and learn how to avoid them. In English, the subject of a sentence and its verb must agree in number. That means if the subject is singular, the verb should also be singular. If the subject is plural, the verb should be plural too. For example, the dog runs in the park, or the dogs run in the park. Easy, right? But sometimes it can get a bit tricky. Let's explore the common mistakes we often make and learn how to avoid them. One common error occurs when the subject is separated from the verb by words or phrases. For instance, the basket of apples are on the table. The verb should be, is not, are, because the subject is, basket, not, apples. So the correct sentence should be, the basket of apples is on the table. Another error happens when using, or, or, nor, in a sentence. Remember, the verb should agree with the subject nearest to it. For instance, neither the teacher nor the students is responsible. This is incorrect because students is nearest to the verb, so the correct sentence should be neither the teacher nor the students are responsible. Avoiding these errors involves understanding the core principle of subject-verb agreement and applying it consistently even when other words come between the subject and the verb. Tip 1. Identify the real subject. Don't get distracted by words or phrases that come in between. Tip 2. With, or, or, nor. The subject closer to the verb decides whether the verb is singular or plural. Practicing these rules will help you avoid subject-verb agreement errors. Now, let's do some quick practice. 1. The team of engineers, blank, is, are, working on the project. 2. Neither my sister nor my brothers, blank, wants, want, to go to the zoo. I'll give you a moment to think. Ready? The correct sentences are. 1. The team of engineers is working on the project. 2. Neither my sister nor my brothers want to go to the zoo. And that wraps up our lesson on subject-verb agreement. I hope this helps you in eliminating these common errors from your writing. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to exercise these rules in your day-to-day -day English usage. Keep learning, keep growing. See you in the next lesson.